if you're watching this and there's no live, it's no longer live. Uh, give people time to get on and time for me to share it. And hopefully tag people. There we go. Share. Hey, 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 say hello. It's a really bad sound. Oh, Facebook hates me. I was trying to, oh, there we go. Now I can do it that way. Hello, hello, say hello when you come on. to group. Hey, Debbie. Okay. I can turn that off. Find somewhere. So, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to do the neon orange and purple and Mod Podge this time and we'll be able to see the difference. And then we're also going to use two of the pigments, the teal and the purple. So, and then I'm trying to decide, I don't like, see how it got excess there? I'm thinking about painting it, the rest of it and maybe going over it with a translucent white. So, I think. Cause then it's gonna sit right up here where I sit. And then, I also was at my nice store, Dollar Tree, I don't know, one of them. And they had crushed glass. It's really for aquariums or terrarium, terrariums. But I'm gonna do another, and I got blue. So I got a pink, a green, and a blue. And I figured I'd use it in another one of these. So this is the one I did with the shimmers. I've sanded it and I'm gonna re-epoxy it to make it pretty. Yeah, I don't know, they're not like super sparkly like, like uh, glitter. But they were like, I must have got them at one of the other dollar stores. Because they were like 25 cents. So I bought everything they had, which wasn't much. But like the green and the blue would be really pretty together. To make kind of a C. So, we'll wait a minute. I know Debbie's on here. Whoever else is on here. Please say hello so we know you're here. And we'll go ahead and get started. So again, I've got, let me turn it down a little. So we've got neon orange and neon pink. I'm gonna do that on one of these. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna ombre it. And then I also got the atomic pigments, the purple. That don't wanna spill. I did that last, the other night. Had to clean it up. And teal, which I can't at this point get new of. 
So, and we'll ombre the other board with it. And so I'm gonna put some Mod Podge in it. Those that are joining that have not seen me do this, Mod Podge dries clear. So therefore, your color shines through. So we're gonna get this ready. Make sure I'm doing enough. I got my good brushes tonight. So what is everyone doing? I've been cleaning, trying to clean. I got this area clean, kinda. Fixed my drawers. Have a box with all my molds in them. Hey, Lulu, because I'm gonna probably post those and get rid of some of them. Ooh, this color is so pretty. That's part of the Atomics, and I think purple is out. I only have a very small amount of it, just because the where I get it, they haven't been doing the really bright ones. Yeah, I fixed my draws. I have the ones from Ikea that are metal. And the only problem with them is they, um, the guide likes to come down. So, hi Lulu. Please, everyone, anyone watching, please say hello. Don't be shy. And feel free to share. I'm trying to bring up my likes. So that's the Atomic Purple. Just not as deep. It looks really deep there, but it's not quite as deep. Now we're going to do the Atomic Teal, which I very much want to find more of. Because it's really pretty. So, like I said, guys, share, share, share. That's how we get more likes. That's how we do more things. That's how we get more stuff and go do more sales. But please, please, please say who you are. You never know when there might be a giveaway. If I don't know you're watching, I can't include you. So that's the till. And then we're gonna do the, I know I love the till. Cause you should have it, Debbie. You have, hi Judy. You have a set of the original colors. Those are the original ones I started with. So this hot pink should be a lot pinker because it's mixed in Mod Podge and not white paint. Remember, if you use white paint, it's going to dull the color, and yes, it is. That is so much more. And I've got kind of the setup. I'm trying. I need to go out and find our clamp lights. And then the neon orange. And again, these neons, you got to mix really good. Judy, Judy. So, but yes, we got, we got the neon in it. So, some of you, this is what I did the other night. I really don't like how it dried with the streaks. Hi, Patty. My Patty, my Patty. Hi, Patty. So, I did this, but I'm really thinking of... Uh, okay, guys. It's going to go dark for a second. I forgot to turn off my Wi-Fi. Give me two shakes. Okay. I'm back. My Wi-Fi interferes with my ability to go live. So, anyway, I think what I'm going to do is sand it a little bit and then put a, a white translucent glitter over it. But what I started to say is when you're mixing these with the Mod Podge, see how shiny they are? You're self-sealing them. So mixing them with Mod Podge might seem kind of weird, but it also, it also self-seals. So and that's the lavender, passion fruit, amethyst, and strawberry lemonade. So, and I have, these are the two I did the other night, and I mixed them with white. So we're gonna, re, we're gonna do a new one with a mixed in um, Mod Podge. So I'm gonna bring you down. 
and that way, yeah, you have them. Marge's not here, but I know she'll go back and watch. T, second day. I'm doing better this time on it. So, I'm going to move these over a little bit. And I did bring in my good brushes to make sure that I had good ones. So, I'm going to use the purple and the teal and just kind of do a, a ombre style to show it. So, we're going to start with purple. Oh, yeah. That works really good. So remember, you can do this on a cup. One of the reasons I'm showing you this is because sometimes you want to do stuff on a cup that you don't want to use epoxy. So this is a good alternative if you want to paint a cup and do designs on it and what have you. Let me move that out of the way. Are you having hot tea? So hopefully before I go live again this weekend, I'm gonna go get one of our clamp lights from the garage. That way I can have it higher. I know it's kind of giving us a hot spot, but without it, it's really light. So of course, when painting with a brush, just get your smoothness. And I will be doing stuff with these, all of these that I've been making. I will be doing them signs or something. So, again, I see seven people say hello. I want to know who you are. So, the thing you do have to remember is my pod dries. So, you have to be fairly quick with it. So, now we're going to use the tail. And as always, I will bring you down and let you see this. These pigments are water-based, so they do pretty good in Mod Podge and what have you, but they do not do good in paint. I tried. It makes it puffy, and it, you don't still don't get the color. So. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Melissa. Sorry. I didn't look close enough. I'm going to wait and do that here at the end and ombre them. So I'm just getting them on. And yes, I should probably be wearing gloves, but y'all know me. I don't do... I get messy. So I'm going to smooth this out. I'm just adding more to make it nice. Now I'm going to come in here. We're going to ombre and get these colors to mix. So I'm kind of going up into it. And then I'm going to get the purple. So all I'm doing right here is trying to get it wet so I can ombre. So, sorry guys, I was so fairly happy with how that came out. And I will bring it to you here in just a second. Let me get you off. Turn you around. And there it is. So that's the purple atomic and the teal. And I like how it ombre. You can see the brush marks. That's what I was trying to get out of there. My husband's on watching. So, I like that. Okay, I'm going to turn you around. Oh, oh. 
disaster. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there we go. Just going to move this over. I'm going to move my iPad out of the way before I do damage to it. Set that over there. Now we're going to do the orange and the pink. Yeah, they came out really pretty. Going to have to think of something to put on it. Because I'll make a really pretty background. Um, imagine that on a cup. That would be really pretty on a cup doing it that way. We may have to do that. Kind of liking that. So now we're going to do the pink and the orange again. And I'm actually going to add a little bit. So, I just want to make sure I have enough to cover. So, mix it up again. What I like about the Mod Podge is the Mod Podge doesn't color it. It ends up drying clear. And again, with the neons, you got to watch and make sure that you mix them real good. Yeah, these are going to be totally different. So once I put it on, I'll bring you down and I'll put the other ones close to it so you can see. And I do like the bigger brushes. So I'm going to start with pink. Oops. Yeah, it'd be helpful if I turn it down so you can see. And I'm going to turn this off because you can't see it. It's a little dark, but trust me, with the light on, you couldn't see. And it's just regular painting. You're just doing it with Mod Podge. So. Anyone that knows me knows I'm messy. There's the pink. Now we're going to do the orange. I'm going to move this over so I don't drip it all over. So now I'm just putting the orange on, which is also going to be really pretty. This is a really good way to do backgrounds on like boards for signs. If you have powders that you really like and you can't get the colors, or if you have neon powders but you don't have neon spray paint or regular paint. Okay, so now we're gonna start with working to merge them. I'm just going back and forth so I can dull the line. Some more orange. I'm gonna go higher up with the orange. So just like with paint, you want to make sure you have a wet line. That's the main thing. Just going back and forth. So I'm liking where I'm at. I wipe my hands so I don't get paint all over my camera, my phone. I really like it. I think it did good. So I'm gonna turn the light back on so you can really see. So there's the pink from the other night with the white paint. And there's the orange. And there it is with Mod Podge. So big difference. I'm going to add some more pink in here. Tone down some of that. So you can see in Mod Podge the, the neons stay really neon. In white you get that. 
but both of them, I'm going to, hold on guys, because I'm going to shut the light off for a minute. I'm going to show you, hopefully, that they still are neon. Hey, Dawn. So, bear with me. I don't want to hurt myself. Turn you around. Take off the flash. And there you have it. Okay? So for comparison, those are not neon. Those are neon. So, even with the white paint, you still get neon. It's just not as vibrant. You can see. And then see those? They're not neon. White is neon. That green is neon. Some of that stuff is neon. This is neon. So, let me turn my light back on. Let me not hurt myself doing this. There we go. So... I'm happy with the results. There we go. So, <laughs> those that just joined on, I know you did. So, we used the um, pigment, atomic pigments in teal and purple. You can go either way. And then we just blended them. Mixed it in with uh, Mod Podge, so this will self-seal. And then we also, the other night I did the, the neons in white paint. And it, the white, of course, takes them down. But here they are in Mod Podge. And that'll be really cool as a background. So, and then, my, got Mod Podge on my fingers. This is the sign we did the other night. And you can hopefully see that it self seals. You can see how shiny it is. I wasn't real happy with the brush marks, so I think I'm gonna knock it down a little bit. Put a po uh, put my podge on it and put a white translucent glitter over the whole thing after I paint the white, paint the back. And then this is this is the one I did with the. Yeah, it's really pretty for sunset. This is the one I did with um, the liquid shimmers. I've sanded it, so I've got to epoxy it. But I think I also got, at one of the dollar stores, they had this crushed glass. So I got that. It's, there's a, it's a really pale pink, a green, and a blue. And I think I'm going to, I have more boards, and I think I'm going to get one ready and do a river in it. And then probably paint like a pale blue bottom for the for the river. Fill it with those and then put epoxy over it. So I think that would be really good too. My other one that I did, I've just got to add more epoxy to. And here it is. And that's the one that also glows in the dark. Yeah, those are pretty sunset colors. Yeah, I like those. So, I may need to do like I did the neon cup, a sunset kind of mine. Or a sunset frame of mine or whatever on it. Yeah. So, the reason I'm showing you this is... That you can also do this on your cups. So if you wanted to do something like that with an ombre that you don't want to mess with epoxy, you could put Mod Podge in them, paint them if you don't have, because like I have some fluorescent spray paint, but I don't have any fluorescent paint. Um, so you could use that. It doesn't take much. Um, I really like this. This to me is going to be something seaworthy. Maybe some seahorses. So, but yeah. And then I, this, I know Debbie had said something about a bunny. I think that would be really cute on this one. And then I'm not sure what to do on this one yet. Maybe, um, I don't know. It's almost like a peach. And those are the neons. And like I showed you, they do neon. 
So, I will get off here, guys, and let you go. And let's see, tonight's Thursday night. Tomorrow I'm going to be cleaning, but I'll probably go live sometime on Saturday. Um, I want to get some more of the trays ready. I've got a big one I want to do. That I think will be cool. Figure out something to do because I can't go get any door handles at the moment because we're shelter in place. So, can't do any of that. So, it's got to work with what we got. Yeah, spring flower for Mother's Day. That's another good one. All right, Patty, talk to you later. Um, That's another good one, yeah. That would be really pretty with some spring flowers on it and happy Mother's Day. A little plaque. And then come around it with rope to frame it. Hi, Donna. So, Donna, I know you weren't here. We used the pigments, the atomic pigments, teal and purple with Mod Podge. And did that. And then we also did went back and did the um, orange and the pink neons in Mod Podge. So, and they're much brighter than what I did the other night. The orange is the bottom. Oop. Don't want to drop it. And the pink is the top. So that's the difference. But all of it still fluoresces. So, again, I'll get off of here, guys. Thank you for coming and watching. Share, share, share. I want to at least get my likes up to a 1,000 um, in the group. So, please feel free to share with anybody that's crafty. Yeah, I just mix it with Mod Podge. And because Mod Podge is clear, I mean, it doesn't look clear when you do it, but it dries clear. You can mix it with powders. I did it with glow powders. Where is that? Glow powder. I don't know where it went to. I think I showed it to you guys already. So, but yeah. So we'll, we'll continue. We did it with the UV powder. Um, I think in the next day or so, I'm going to try and get some stuff ready to put on these things. And on the cups I've done so we can fit, see finished projects. Um, but yeah, the Mod Podge, you can pretty much mix any of the powders in. Have not tried it with the thermal powders yet, so we will be trying that. I did do it with the, I know where I did, but we did it with the color shift. We did it with the chrome powders, which turned out really cool. This is the UV that looks like nothing, but it UVs, it changes to purple. This was the color shift. And then I had done this with the orange to orange, and then I crackled it with the black for Halloween. So my goal this weekend is to start cutting vinyl or painting or doing something with them um, to show you all what it looks like finished instead of just painting boards and throwing them in a cabinet. So then I got not a whole lot of wall space, but I got some wall space I can hang. So... All right, guys, have a good evening. We'll see you back. Um, yeah, I like the color shift, too. Um, we will see you probably sometime Saturday. Thanks.